Hello students. In this lecture, we will be solving some problems related to inner products. The first question is, if u, v and w are vectors in R4, show that the linearity property is satisfied where we have taken a equal to 3, b equal to minus 2. So inner product of 3u minus 2v with w is equal to 3 times inner product of u w minus 2 times inner product of v w and normalize u v and w. Now to solve this first we find what is 3 u minus 2 v. So this would be 3 times 1 3 minus 4 2 minus 2 times 4 minus 2 2 1. So this will be 3 9 minus 12 6 minus 8 minus 4 4 2 so this will be minus 5 9 plus 4 13 minus 12 minus 4 is minus 16 6 minus 2 is 4 now we require inner product of 3u minus 2v comma w that will be now we have minus 5 13 minus 16 4 w is 5 minus 1 minus 2 and 6 since on r4 the inner product is the usual dot product we find minus 5 into 5 plus 13 into minus 1 plus minus 16 into minus 2 plus 4 into 6 which simplifies to so the inner product simplifies to 18 now we find inner product of u and w that is in a product of 1 3 minus 4 2 and w is 5 minus 1 minus 2 6 so this will be 1 into 5 plus 3 into minus 1 plus minus 4 into minus 2 plus 2 into 6 this simplifies to 22 similarly now inner product of v and w which is inner product of v is 4 minus 2 2 1 with 5 minus 1 minus 2 6 so this will be 4 into 5 plus minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2 into minus 2 plus 1 into 6 and this simplifies to so we get 24 so 3 times 3 times u w minus 2 times v w this will be 3 into 22 minus 2 into 24 which is 66 minus 48 which is 18 so we have proved that inner product of 3 u minus 2 v with w is equal to 3 times inner product of u w minus 2 times inner product of v w now we need to normalize the three vectors so you we can normalize a vector 
normalize to normalize a vector we have to divide by its inner product so we have normalized vector of u is u divided by norm u u is 1 3 minus 4 and 2 norm u is square root of inner product of u with itself therefore inner product of u with itself is 1 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 4 squared plus 2 squared which is 1 plus 9 10 plus 16 26 plus 4 30 so norm of u in this case will be square root of 30 so u over norm u this is 1 by square root of 30 into 1 3 4 2 that is 1 by root 30 Three by root thirty minus four by root thirty and two by root thirty. Similarly, we can normalize the vector v. V is the vector v is four minus two. Two and one. Inner product of v with itself is four squared plus minus two squared plus two squared plus one squared. This is sixteen plus four, twenty plus four, twenty-four plus one, twenty-five. So the norm of v, which is square root of inner product of v with itself this is square root of 25 which is 5 so v over norm v this will be one by five into four minus two two one which is four by five Minus two by five, two by five, and one by five. So this vector, these two vectors here, will be unit vectors. When you find the inner product of these two, we find that the norm will be equal to one, and hence they are called the unit vectors or the normalized vectors. Now a similar process can be followed for finding norm of W. W will be W over norm W, which you people can try it out. We'll take another example where we have f of t, g of t, and h of t in the polynomial vector space. we define the inner product of p and q as integral 0 to 1 p of t q of t dt now the question is to find inner product of f and g f and h and normalize f g and h for that the first step is we require inner product of f and g Which is integral zero to one, f of t into g of t dt. So integral in a product of f and g will be integral zero to one t plus two into three t minus two dt. We simplify this. This is 
थ्री टी स्क्वाड प्लस सिक्स टी माइनस टू टी माइनस फोर डी टी दैट इज इंटीग्रल जीरो टू वन थ्री टी स्क्वाड प्लस फोर टी माइनस फोर डी टी इफ यू इंटीग्रेट दिस वी गेट टी क्यू प्लस टू टी स्क्वाड माइनस फोर टी फ्रॉम टी इक्वल टू जीरो टू वन सो इन अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एफ एंड जी विल बी वन माइनस जी वन क्यूब माइनस जीरो क्यूब प्लस टू इंटू वन स्क्वाड माइनस जीरो स्क्वाड माइनस फोर टाइम्स वन माइनस जीरो दैट विल बी वन प्लस टू माइनस फोर विच इज माइनस वन Now similarly, in a product of f and h, this is integral zero to one f of t into h of t dt. That is integral zero to one t plus two into h is t squared minus two t. Minus three dt. So this simplifies to t cube minus two t squared minus three t plus two t squared minus four t minus six dt. That is integral zero to one. T cube, the two t square they get cancelled. Minus seventy minus six dt. The integral will be t power four by four minus seven t square by two minus sixty. The limits zero to one. So in a product of f and h will be one by four minus seven by two minus six, and this simplifies to one minus fourteen minus twenty four by four, which is minus thirty seven by four. Now to normalize vector f, normalized vector of f. This is f divided by norm of f. Now norm of f is inner product square root of inner product of the vector with itself. So here. In a product of f with itself is integral zero to one f squared f into f dt that is integral zero to one f of t squared dt. Now vector f is. T plus two, so zero to one. T plus two whole square dt. This is integral zero to one. There are two ways of solving this. Since the inside we have a linear polynomial, this can be solved as a t plus b to the power n. So this will be two plus two whole cube by three. T equal to zero to one, so we get when t equal to one, we get one plus two whole cube that is three cube minus when t is zero, we get two cube that is twenty seven minus eight that is nineteen by three.
therefore norm of f is equal to square root of 19 by 3 so f by norm of f is 1 by square root of 19 by 3 into t plus 2 that is square root of 3 by 19 into t plus 2. Now a similar exercise can be done for vector g and vector h.